Hi dear cricket fans, subscribers and friends. Uh, welcome to your cricket happenings here. And well, uh, this is the first one day international match which has just ended here at the Gross Islet here uh, in the Visajur Stadium in the first one day international of the digital, digital one day international series between Pakistan and West Indies. And the first match has been taken by Pakistan. So Pakistan go one up in the series by actually winning the match very, very comfortably by eight wickets. For Pakistan, uh, actually today there were three men who actually made their debuts in One Day Internationals. It was Hamad Azam, the all-rounder, Junaid Khan, the left-arm pace bowler, and Mohamed Salman, the wicket keeper. So they made their debuts, uh, but well, Pakistan lost the toss, West Indies won the toss, elected to bat. <laughs> well, electing to bat on this pitch, uh, Lendy Simmons and uh, Devon Smith were the ones in the middle. Uh, and uh, well, it was not easy going at all. Uh, Wahab Riyas was uh, bowling well initially. Junaid Khan uh, uh, looked a bit patchy there uh, in his first one day international, probably a sign of nerves there. But then Devon Smith started off aggressively, um, getting a few boundaries. But Devon Smith was the first to go today uh, when uh, a ball from Mohamed Afiz actually came in with the arm and he was adjusted LBW for 17 of 30 balls with three fours. After that, uh, Lendy Simmons departed with the score on 67 when Darren Bravo joined him. But uh, Lendy Simmons was a victim uh, when he tried to pull a ball of the bowling of Saeed Ajmal. Uh, Mohamed Salman uh, took up the catch. It was a dusra from Saeed Ajmal, which Salman held the catch. And Simmons was out for a quite 24 of 44 balls with 1 4. But what was very. And after that, Marlon Samuels, who was actually making a comeback to the West Indies team after all the controversy that had surrounded him before. Uh, well, unfortunately, was a uh, victim of a silly run out there as Marlon Samuels was run out for two, uh, two and uh, that was the time the score was uh, 77 for three in the 24th over for West Indies. And uh, well, Darren Bravo, uh, very unfortunately today, uh, I would say, I mean, one would have expected Darren Bravo to have a lot of fireworks, but today it was a different round. Bravo. Also, there's a credit for the uh, Pakistani spinners there with Mohamed Afiz bowling 10 overs, 2 maidens, 1 for 36 his figures. Saeed Ajmal 10 overs, 2 maidens, 1 for 24. And Shahid Afri, the 10 overs, 1 maiden, none for 40. So these were the, the spinners were the ones who actually restricted the West Indian innings to 221. And Darren Bravo uh, couldn't really force the pace there because there was some turn and bounce on offer for the spinners, uh, which West Indies would be quite ruining the fact because they had only Devendra Bishu as a red arm leg spinner. And well, um, um, in fact, uh, it was uh, Darren Bravo and Kirk Edwards who put up a good stand from 77 for 3. They took on the score to 136, but only with singles and twos because they couldn't really uh, penetrate the field there. And Darren Bravo in particular was very, very surprising because he's normally a very, very exciting player and he likes to play his strokes. In fact, he starts off with hits uh, some huge sixes and boundaries. But today it was a different Darren Bravo. In fact, this was a very responsible, a very mature knock from him. Who actually held the innings together and that's what really helped the West Indies actually reach a score of 221 for 6 in the 50 overs. But then uh, Darren Bravo, well, he couldn't do, but he, he, he in fact reached his 50 without any boundaries. He scored 50 without any boundaries, which was something of a big surprise. But well, probably signs of maturity there with Desmond Haynes coming into the uh, coming in as batting coach for the West Indies. And then Kirk Edwards uh, was uh, gone of the bowling of Wahab Riyas for 28 of 49 balls. It was not a good shot. And in fact, Kirk Edwards also couldn't hit any single boundary. Uh, and then uh, Darren Bravo, the Bravo brothers were in the middle. Darren Bravo uh, contributed 14, coming back. As you know, he didn't. Uh, he was not there for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2011, unfortunately, with an injury. He had to go back. As he was there, <coughs> he made 14 of 20 balls before becoming a victim of Wahab Riyas. And in the end, uh, and also, and then there was uh, Darren Sami, the captain, um, called him for a second run, called Darren Bravo for the second run. And that, uh, uh, you know, that was the time when Darren Bravo was looking a good, I mean, he was trying, just trying to attack with hitting 1-4 and 1-6 that he hit in a score of 67 of 109 balls, but he was uh, run out. And after that was Darren Sami's, uh, it was uh, the, the onus was on Darren Sami to uh, hit some, hit some uh, do some big uh, hitting there and he definitely did so by landing one of the balls over the roof of the stand there made 29 out of the 17 balls with three fours and two sixes Carlton Bog also paced at 10 runs of 15 balls with one four 221 for six for West Indies uh, <coughs> posted there of 50 overs the bowling figures Bahabriyas was costly 10 overs no made in two for 62 
10 hours 49 uh, the on his uh, debut for Junaid Khan the left arm pace bowler Mohammad Afiz 10 hours 2 minutes I already spoken about that now as far as Pakistan's innings were concerned Mohammad Afiz and Ahmed Shahzad started off uh, uh, in a very good way actually getting runnable stuff there and Ahmed Shahzad actually creaming three boundaries of one over from uh, Kemar Roche but then um, Mohammad Afiz was also looking good he was actually uh, playing in good areas and basically he was uh, stroking the ball on either side of the wicket with a lot of fluency and he also hit a 6-2 uh, but well this went on but after that uh, Devendra Bishu was introduced now this is what West Indies would be really thinking that the, why they actually uh, didn't pick up another spinner when there was some turn and bounce and well they had only one quality spinner and it was Devendra Bishu who bowled 10 hours no more in 248 in fact the two wickets that Pakistan lost went to Devendra Bishu and uh, well uh, Bishu could turn the ball but he could do only as much and then uh, Ahmed Shahzad was the first wicket to go as he was uh, stumped by Carlton Bog of the bowling of Devendra Bishu for 22 of 39 balls with 4 fours. that was the first wicket to go at 68 uh, in 12.4 overs after that Asad Shafiq joined uh, Mohamed Afiz and Mohamed Afiz after playing a very good innings of 54 of 45 balls 10 fours and 1 6 was a victim of Bishu once again when the score was 88 for the Pakistan for 88 for 2 uh, in the 17th over and Mohamed Afiz was gone for 54 but after that West Indies had absolutely no reward because uh, the I mean uh, it was uh, it, the I mean they had absolutely uh, nothing to really talk about because Asa Shafiq and Ms. Bowler went in their very um, uh, measured way uh, they really uh, played the balling on its merit and started hitting the loose balls because they knew that score was only 221 they didn't have much to do and uh, they bided their time at the crease uh, Miss Bowluck in the end not out on 73 of 90 deliveries 5 fours and 1 6 and Asa Shafiq was very impressive in his score of uh, 61 of uh, 76 deliveries with seven fours as i said they just bided their time played the ballers on merit and uh, rotated the strike and basically saw pakistan home uh, without uh, any any i mean any further uh, any further wickets uh, going down 222 for two a uh, very very comfortable eight wicket victory for pakistan uh, the bowling figures came out rose 9.3 overs no made and none for 58 was costly darren sammy seven overs on made and none for 32 Andre Russell, 5 overs, 1 maiden, none for 36. Darren Bravo, 8 overs, 1 maiden, none for 36. Devendra Bishu was two, had 2 for 48 and Devon Smith, 2 overs, none for 12. But as I said, uh, the difference was the spinners there. Um, Mohamed Afiz of Pakistan was named man of the match. Uh, but the difference was definitely the spinners. And West Indies, I have to really look at it uh, in the second match, which is going to happen at the same ground here on Monday, April the 26th, April the 25th, I reckon and uh, well they have to really uh, do their homework there and uh, you know probably get a few spinners uh, uh, into the fray uh, probably Ashley Nurse the right arm off spinner uh, could play along with Devendra Bishu and that would be really interesting uh, so I, I, I definitely know that uh, West Indies would uh, really take uh, some lessons out of this and uh, we might see three spinners operating for West Indies in the uh, next match probably and that would really um, uh, tell us the story like uh, it would be a real battle because I said there's a lot of turn and bounce on this There's a lot of turn a lot of turn and bounce on this pitch and it was a real um, Surprise that West Indies went with only one uh, Right arm leg spinner and the two one genuine leg spinner there Devendra Bishu Well, uh, dear fans, uh, I don't have uh, anything else to share. I think I should be I'll be ending my cricket report now for the day uh, Thanks for watching cricket happenings. Skip watching cricket happenings your host Ram will be there every day with your cricket happening show. Thanks for your company, thanks for your suggestions, encouragement and thanks for your continued support to the cricket happening show. This is your host Ram signing off finally for the day. Thank you.